Hi, I'm Ian Rainey, the lead designer here at Playtested Games, and today we're discussing how to play Wizard's Curse. The setup is five gems and four arcane blasts per player are set to the side of the main deck. A set of seven curses per player is shuffled into the curse deck. Each player will receive their own deck of three magic shields and seven gold coins. Now that we've set up the decks, we shuffle the main deck as well as the curse deck and place them face down. Then we deal out the main characters. We like to divvy out two each and select one. If you have a different way, you can do that. Now that we have our main characters, the top five cards of the main deck are used to create the shop. To decide who goes first, look at the IQ of your characters. In this case, the Arcanomancer at 135 is the highest and will be going first. And then we're going to draw five cards as our starting hand. From my hand, I'll be playing three gold coins to pick up this fair trade, placing it into my discards. After ending my turn, I'll place the cards I played, as well as the rest of the cards in my hand, into my discard pile. Then I will refill any missing cards from the shop, and then finally draw up to my hand size of five cards. In Wizard's Curse, when you have no deck and you need to draw cards, your discard pile is reshuffled and used to make a new deck. This ability is called Cycle. Some characters have effects that when you cycle, something happens. It will occur after you have finished drawing your new hand. Some cards let you destroy cards. Fair Trade lets you destroy a card in your hand. One of my gold coins is destroyed. It is effectively removed from the game. Set it aside into its own destroy pile. When you play a spell, it only lasts for that turn. Some cards, like Invocations, will stay in play. Invocations, however, are discarded at the beginning of your next turn. Artifacts stay in play indefinitely. The main point of this game are the curses. Some cards in this game give other players curses. This jinx can be destroyed to give another player a curse. I choose the Arcanomancer, and he earns the top card of the curse deck, and it goes to his discard pile as if he had just bought it. During your turn, any curses you have in your hand are immediately put into play. Right. Before my invocation is even discarded, the curse of gluttony I had in my hand enters play. It, its effects immediately occur. This invocation will then leave, and I have this curse until I use its effects to get rid of it. In Wizard's Curse, you can only attack or buy on your turn. If you go to the shop, you can no longer attack other players. Once you declare an attack, you can no longer play currency cards, even for their other effects. On my turn, I'm going to declare an attack. I choose a player, and they are the target of all of my attacks. I target Gage. I am playing Frostbolt as my first attack. I have no more attacks, and the druid gets a chance to defend. He plays two magic shields, preventing two damage of the two I dealt him. He takes zero damage. Spells that are played during defense are discarded as usual. As the game progresses, curses can build up. But not to fear, curses have a way of getting rid of themselves. As the Arcanomancer buys this arcane rune, he gets to discard the Curse of Greed as per its effects. He bought a currency card, and so it is discarded as well. Some invocations trigger at the beginning of your turn. When this Void Energy goes to my discard pile, I can destroy any non-cursed card in my discard. Sometimes during an attack, a player will end up with less than zero life. Let's find out what happens. The Druid is attacking with two Arcane Blasts to the Apprentice. He can only defend with one Magic Shield. With no more cards to defend, he dies. When a player is placed at zero or lower life, he is removed from the game. All of his cards are destroyed, and his curses go back to the bottom of the curse stack. So, the last man standing was the Arcanomancer, as you can imagine. We didn't attack him at all. No. So, he wins this one. And that's how you play Wizard's Curse. That's how you win Wizard's Curse. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Feel free to check out our other videos of us playing. And be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our other videos and our live feed every Wednesday at 2. Here at Playtester Games.